with a narrow win and a narrow loss, some amazing play and some mental fragility. What will Scotland do this week? And there are some big decisions to be made in selection. Hello, amateurs, and welcome back to our Six Nations series. And I'll be with you throughout the championship. So hit subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any future episodes. And today I'm going to be looking at what I think the Scotland team will be to face England. First of all, just a quick review of how they played against France. They scored a brilliant try through Ben White, but then just tried to manage the game and left France always within a score. And that proved to be fatal within the in the end. I'd like to have seen them gone out and really try and take the game, seeing as they were so dominant. Elko and myself analysed it. And uh, there's the full match review. I'll link it up there. So go and take a look at that one if you want to know what we think about some in-depth things that happened during that game. Now, squad updates. And this is where it gets very, very interesting because Gregor Townsend is hopeful that Darcy Graham, Vapey Nell, Blair Kinghorn and Kyle Stain will all be back available this week. And I know WP now played for Edinburgh yesterday and, um, yeah, and, and did well by all accounts. So, uh, yeah, some big decisions to be made as we go through this selection process. We'll start off with the forwards, as usual, and we'll start off again with all the players that I think will keep their place, for sure, from the previous game. Schumann, who went very, very well in the scrum against big, big French pack. I think I thought he had the edge all day long. Uh, Turner, I think, is one of Scotland's best players. And Fagerson's an absolute hero for playing the amount of minutes that he has. No question, I think, that they all deserve to start. Gilchrist and Cummings, very big physical pairing in the second row. Again, no question about that. Darge was outstanding on the day on his comeback against France. And Dempsey as well. The only question mark I have, and it's just in terms of balance of the side, is whether they'll play Ferguson or Christie at six. Christie, obviously, much quicker, more of a breakdown threat. Um, Ferguson, bigger, stronger, more physical. And I think Scotland's route to victory may be to play fast and loose against England, try and take on that blitz defence, try and run England off their feet. And if so, Christie may be the better option. Or... They might think that they really want the, the bulk and the physicality and that they will start in a real sort of aggressive tone. So that's just my question mark there. Could go either way, but I think Scotland will go with Ferguson. I think it was a good balance against France, against the big French pack. England are probably going to be quite big as well. So I think they'll want that physical bulk and try and get some physical superiority. And Christie coming on late in the game, obviously if there's a bit of space a bit of fatigue is absolutely phenomenal in those kind of scenarios. Okay, moving on to the backs. And Ben White is currently playing for Toulon as I speak. So everybody in Scotland, as far as I'm aware, is keeping their fingers crossed that he comes through injury free. Uh, if so, and I'm, you know, I'm sure he will, then he'll clearly start a nine. He's been playing very well. Russell, Van der Merwe, Turbolo, to Jones, all playing well. And even though Van der Merwe was maybe a little bit quiet against France, the way he played against England last year, you just have to back him to start in any case. You know, just that would be a psychological thing, I think, to, for England to see him out there for sure. Now, 14 and 15, and this gets very, very tricky because young Patterson came in last week and played a blinder. He had a brilliant debut. Carl Rowe's done amazingly well as well too. But then also you've got Carl Stain, who was unavailable last week, and the returning Darcy Graham, Blair Kinghorn, who are both, well, I mean, they're, they're absolutely outstanding players in my mind. So this gets very, very difficult. And again, it might be, it might be down to balance. What kind of game do they think it's going to be in the early stages? Therefore, who do you start? And what kind of game do you think it might be towards the end? And therefore, who do you want on the bench to come on? So, I mean, I think Scotland would do well with any of these five players in those two shirts, to be honest. So that's it's brilliant strength and depth that they've now developed in those areas. But I'm going to go for I'm going to go for the experience. Um, I think Kinghorn in particular, I think, has been Scotland's best fullback for a number of years, and I, I mean, he's just a brilliant player, all around um, player. Runs amazing lines, can catch and pass, does all the things. Um, great kicker too. 
And then I think just with the way this game might be, I think they'll go with Stain to start off with. I think they'll want somebody who's really, really solid and will get them through the opening stages. Um, yeah, that's what, that's what I think they'll go with. Obviously, Graham would be, you know, an incredible try scorer, incredible finisher, makes things out of nothing. And, you know, in what they've typically been quite tight games in the scoreline in recent years, you know, if he can create something out of nothing, then that could be the difference. But I think I think we'll go with Stain, which leaves us of the bench with Ashman and Hepburn continuing. Uh, both did well in recent weeks, and there's no reason not to change them. WP Nell coming in for his experience on the bench at tight head. Xander Fagerson had to play a lot of minutes recently, and I think that was purely because they didn't really, really back Miller Mills to come on and do a job. They will with now, so they'll get some oomph in the scrum towards the end. Skinner and Christie continuing as well with Horn, the scrum half replacement. And then I think no need for Healy as the 10 replacement anymore because you've got Kinghorn who can absolutely do that job. So that means Redpath and Darcy Graham to come on and provide some unbelievable spark off the bench. Incredibly harsh on Carl Rowe, who's had two very good games. Incredibly harsh on Patterson, who had a great debut last week. But those guys are still young. Their time will come. And I think in a game like this, England, I think they need all the experience they can get. So that is what I think. Now, what do I what would I like to see from this Scotland team? Obviously talking as a, you know, as a neutral rather than an Englishman. What I'd like to see from them is to back up like their, their periods of real brilliance and composure and amazing uh, option taking and skills with just some real game management, really trying to be aggressive with that as well and take the game away from people. I think that's the next job for Scotland because they need to make these periods of dominance really count. Anyway, that is what I think. What do you think at home? Do you think this is the right team? Do you think this is the team that Gregor's going to pick? And do you think they are going to be good enough to beat England? Most importantly, they've had the edge over England in recent years, for sure. Will it continue at Murrayfield on Saturday? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll join you there for a good old chinwag. Give this video a thumbs up if you don't mind, and you can subscribe there. You can watch that one next, and don't forget to get out and play.